Cane Bears on Their Own. Welcome to Bear Country. It's a bear-sized place to live. There's a school here, and homes, a playground, and a market. And this is where the Berenstain Bears live. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Grizzly Gramps. Here come the Berenstain Bears. Berenstain bear cubs, just look how they have grown. Join them as they learn to be on their own. There'll be rides and games and cotton candy. It's gonna be great, and we can all go. But I can't go. I'm teaching a quilting class this weekend. And I have to deliver that order of furniture. I'll be gone the whole time. Uh, sorry, Cubs, but Granny and I will be on vacation. Oh, we've rented a fishing cabin. But, but we've got to go. I guess we'll have to go on our own. Brother, you're not old enough to go to the country fair. Why not? It's at our school. And we always go to school on our own. But this is a fair. It'll be crowded. That's right. Everybody we know will be there. Well, none of us will. What if you get lost? How would we find you? We won't get lost. You're treating us like babies, and I'm tired of it. This is a one big fair year, and now we're gonna miss it. Looks like the cubs are really angry. <laughs> Guess I can understand why. Those cubs don't know what's good for them. Now, Papa, look at the way you were when you were a cub. You always wanted to do things on your own, didn't you? Well, but what's that got to do with this? And we always let you try, because you wanted to be independent. But brother and sister are too young. Well, why not give them a chance to prove that they're responsible enough to go? Mm, that's what we did whenever Papa wanted to do something new. After all, <laughs> there comes a time when bear cubs are growing up, you see. And they can do things on their own if they act, if they act, responsibly. Responsibly. Well, maybe we should give them a chance, but how? Well, after talking about it for a while, Mama and Papa decided to let the cubs prove they could be responsible. <laughs> responsible means that you can be trusted to do the right thing. So, they made a list of all the things that the cubs were supposed to do the next day. I know you're both angry. Papa and I want to give you a chance to prove that you can go to the fair. Oh, what do you mean? If you two can do all the things on this list tomorrow and be responsible about them, then you'll prove to us that you're old enough. Let me see that. Hey, no problem. We can do it. Sure we can. What's it say? Now, the first thing on the list is for you both to get up on your own and get ready for school in the morning. And the best way to do that is to get to sleep on time. So Mama helped them set their alarm clock, and starting early the next morning, the Berenstain Bear Cubs would have the chance to prove themselves. <laughs> Sleepy bear cubs wake up, they rise without a groan. Get dressed and do those morning chores on their own. And do it on their own. Yep, brother and sister did a good job getting ready for school. But they were running a little late, as cubs often do. 
get up on our own, make our beds, get dressed, eat breakfast on our own, make lunch. Isn't catching the school bus on our list? Come on! Brother wasn't gonna let a little thing like missing the school bus stop him. Not today. Lucky for the bears, it looped around and stopped on the next block. There's no time to goof off, no time to make a fuss. Make a fuss. The cubs must hurry on their own to catch the bus. Catch the bus. They've got to catch the bus. Catch the bus. So far, brother and sister were doing just fine. But they still had to get through a day at school. If they do their homework and learn to get along, to get along. pay attention and take turns, surely they, surely they cannot, go wrong. cannot go wrong. In school, brother had to remember his homework. And he had to pay attention in class, no matter what. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sister had to remember to raise her hand before talking. Something that sometimes got her in trouble. Yes, sister, you were going to say? What I was going to say was... You know, it wasn't easy, but the bear cubs did it. So far, so good. After school, brother was going to the park, and sister was going to her friend Lizzie's house. I'll meet you at Lizzie's at 4 o'clock. Then we can go to the store. Sister loved going to Lizzie's house after school, <laughs> but there was one problem. They didn't always get along. I want to play house! Dress up! Play house! Sister has a problem when she can't get her way. But if she stops to cooperate... <laughs> want me to have my mother call your mother? She'll have more. She'll have more. Fun to play. Fun to play. Why don't we dress up first and then play house? All right. Meanwhile, brother ran into Freddy, who challenged him to a race. What a race! Well, if Freddy wasn't causing mischief at school, then he was causing it out of school. Get ready. Get set. Brother gets in trouble accepting someone's dare, but if he think it over, then he'll remember to just take care. Let me see that. There's only one more thing. Go to the market and buy groceries. At the corner market, they're sure to check the list. Check each item one by one, so not one thing, not one thing will, will be missed. Will be missed. Check each item one by one, so not one thing will be missed. Got it! Okay, we got bread and honey. What's next on the list? The list! The list! It's gone! You had it! I don't know where I put it! Oh, great! Oh, my! Brother and sister were worried. Losing the list might mean they wouldn't be able to go to the fair after all. <laughs> they looked high. They looked low. But still, they couldn't find it. Now who 
what are we gonna do? We could call Mama. But she'd think we hadn't been responsible. Responsible doesn't mean perfect. Maybe you're right. Mama always says to telephone if we have a problem. Well, it was a pretty good idea. <laughs> Brother explained about the lost list. I remember. We need bread, honey, and milk. Milk! Thank you, Mama. Bye. We need to get milk. But what'd she say about the fair? Can we still go? Well, I don't know. I forgot to ask. We'll call Mama back. But we used all the money to pay for the groceries. Hmm. The Berenstein Bear Cubs were pretty worried. So they hurried home just as fast as they could go. Although Brother was careful to stay right next to Sis the whole time. Here are the groceries. We did everything. Now can we go to the fair? What do you think, Mama? I think you two proved you can be responsible by telephoning me when you had a problem. Now I know if you run into a problem at the country fair, you'll call us. You mean we can go? Yes. yes. Now remember, Mrs. Jones will be working at the balloon booth, so if there's any trouble... I know, Mom. We'll get her. Thank you. The Bear Cubs can be trusted, as they have clearly shown. So now they're going to the fair. Their own, their own. It's been quite a day around here, but little bears have to learn to be on their own. So come visit again real soon <laughs> and be on your own in bear country.